Welcome to our special business segment, Let's Talk Business. Markets failed to hold on to opening gains and ended at a three-week low. All sectors ended in red with IT, FMCG, auto and PSU banking sectors seeing a sharp decline. Nifty ended below 19,500 level and Sensex closed below 65,600 mark. 43 out of 50 Nifty stocks declined. The top losers included Tech Mahindra, Asian Paints, LTI, Mindtree, M&M and Wipro. Some of the gainers were L&T, Airtel, OMCG, Coal India and Power Grid. On the other hand, rupees strengthened by 4 paise to close at 83.19 against the US dollar. After Nifty hit the historic 20k mark, Centrum Brookings' Nishchal Maheshwari now expects Nifty to hit a 21,500 by the end of next year. But what will be the biggest trigger in order to achieve that milestone? Here's what he had to say. I think the biggest trigger is, uh, so it is uh, uh, the earnings growth. Uh, next two years, basically, uh, the market is actually uh, <clears throat> uh, uh, actually projecting an earnings growth of almost 19% CAGR. Now, if I assume, basically, there will be disappointment and maybe it will come to maybe 12-13% kind of a number also. Then also, uh, in that kind of a scenario, we are uh, saying that we are at around 20 times uh, one year forward, which is not a very uh, uh, aggressive valuation. Uh, historically, we have gone 23, 24 times. So, uh, uh, I believe basically that number should go back to maybe 21, 22, which, is, which should lead, uh, I'm saying 10% growth in next two years, 10% each. So that's what my target, uh, that's what my thought process remains to be, that by the end of next year, we should be at 21,500 Nifty. Now, oil prices continue to surge, reaching their highest level in over a year. This is as crude stocks is at a key storage hub, fell to their lowest since July last year. The prices are now fast moving towards the $100 bell bubble mark. And BQ Prime spoke to Fat Profits' David Lenox to understand what will be the impact pick in demand on China on crude prices. Listen Certainly on the demand side of things, we do think that, yes, there has been an improvement, uh, especially coming out of China. That's where we've seen the big pickup in demand starting to uh, swing into the, uh, to the pricing mechanism. Had China continued to perhaps uh, labour as uh, markets were expecting uh, four or five months ago, then we wouldn't have seen such a significant uplift in demand forecast. So we do believe that that demand is there and it is growing. We believe that it probably may be able to touch $100, but we don't think it will stay there for a significant period of time. We're looking at a range for us at between $90 and $95 for, for WTI. Multi Commodity Exchange of India has announced the launch of a new web based commodity der derivatives platform on the 3rd of October. A mock session is planned for a day earlier. Over the past month, MCX's stock has jumped 18% and it also scaled a 52 week high earlier this week. Rishi is now joining in with the details of the new platform. MCX stock is up over 8% today. This is because MCX has finally announced that it is going to come out with its own commodity derivatives platform on October 3rd. And the Clearing Corporation is going to conduct a trading session, mock trading session for all the traders and investors on October 2nd. This is a key development because the shift to a new technology, the shift to a new platform was a key overhang for the company. In fact, until now, its software support was being provided by its ex-promoter, which is 63 Moons Technology. Until now, the contracts with 63 Moons was getting extended continuously. In fact, the last ex extension was in June this year and it was extended till December for 250 crores. Morgan Stanley assumes that the technology caused amortization to begin from the fourth quarter of FY24. However, it awaits much more details with regards to the quantum of amortization that is going to take place. The rally of MCX stock over the past few months is because of a surge in options trading volume, which surged by almost 40% in quarter two till date. But since majority of these contracts are crude oil contracts, the sustainability of the rally comes into question. The October 1st decline for the implementation of the 28% GST on casinos, online gaming and horse racing is around the corner and the government has indicated that it is prepared to bring into effect the decision. Listen in to what the CBIC chairman Sanjay Kumar Agarwal had to say. Our October last budget, last 
उनको इशू करने की प्रक्रिया जारी है सभी राज्यों को पारित करना जरूरी है लागू होने के लिए वो सभी राज्यों ने पारित उनको सभी को पारित करना जरूरी है क्योंकि स्टेट लॉ में भी इसके प्रोविजन्स आने हैं और ज़्यादातर स्टेट ने इसको पास कर दिया है या ऑर्डिनेंस के थ्रू इसको लेके आया बारह ही बारह ही राज्यों ने किया अभी तक हाँ तो बाकी भी अपना इस जो अभी जो दिन बचे हैं उसमें उनको ये एक्सरसाइज कंप्लीट करनी है That's all we had for you on Let's Talk Business. Now short break.